Okay, I'm speaking to Haley, who will be having a stall at Awaken the Goddess Festival this year. So Haley, hello. Mm. Hello, Sabina. Nice to see you. And you too. So tell me a little bit about what you do, Haley, for everyone watching. Yes, yeah, so hi everyone. My name's Haley Felton. I'm a healer, artist and soulpreneur. Essentially, I specialise in two key areas. So I help people understand themselves from the perspective of their soul. I help them understand um, themselves at a deep level so their life starts to make sense and I help them work towards goals that are revealed with, within what's actually called um, a soul plan. So it's a highly accurate spiritual system that I use to help um, people understand their life and move forwards essentially with more greater needs. Um, so that's one key area. And the other area is relationships, um, but specifically people that are single and don't want to be. Um, because I've been there, <laughs> done it and bought the t-shirt and I had lots of fears around that area. Um, so I had to essentially heal my own heart. So my programme that I'm really passionate about is my Align to Love programme. So they're essentially the two key, key areas where I help people. Um, and I also help um, people after they've understood their self at soul level to actually create a piece of artwork um, um, in my Articulate workshops that I put on as well. And this is my soul plan painting, just so um, people can see. So yeah, so essentially a vision board of the soul. Hayley, that sounds really amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so tell me what you're going to be doing at your stall on the day. Yeah, so essentially, um, I'm not really selling anything physically at all um, at, the, at your event. I'm just going to be there so people can chat to me, learn a bit more about what I do, if I can help them potentially. Um, and anyone that comes to visit me, I'm offering a free soul connection audio meditation. So it's, an, uh, so it's a meditation I'll be able to email um, out to anyone who's interested and it will actually help them um, have a greater connection to their own soul. So not that anyone doesn't have a connection, everyone does, but it's actually having a more conscious connection to their soul and, and increasing their intuitive wisdom that's always within them. So that's um, that's what I'm offering as a as a as you know a complimentary gift, and I'll also um, have some soul plan um, symbol cards that I'll be using, not to, to give like a reading, but I'll be um, allowing people to pick a card that will give them a message for the day, as such. So um, they're the two sort of elements that people can can um, you know gain from coming to see me, as well as learning more about how I may be able to help them. Oh, sounds really good. Uh, Hayley, tell me a little bit about your journey, because this sounds really interesting from what you said in the first question. So how did you get here? How do you do this work? What happened? Yeah. yeah, so this isn't anything, like a lot of people say, it wasn't anything that they planned, <laughs> consciously, anyway. So this, I, would, I wasn't planning to be a healer. I wasn't planning to be doing this sort of work whatsoever. Um, I was actually, I was doing lots of different office jobs and I was um, aiming to be like do TV work um, and I actually do still want to do present TV programs backed up by science spiritual shows so that's still something in my awareness but what actually was the catalyst for me, um, I, I didn't mean I've got a psychology background so I've always been interested in people, I did psychology at uni, understanding why people um, are the way they are but what actually was a catalyst for me is um, it was actually about being single. It might sound a bit trivial to some people. I was very happy, um, as in very independent and, and having a great life, but I was always meeting the wrong people. I would have massive fears about if I met someone, I'd be going out with them for maybe a couple of months. I would have like a sick feeling come over me. It was, it was really like I've, I realised that there was a pattern and, and that I wasn't meeting the right people, but it was due to fears that I had. Um, so I actually found a lady that... Um, that was based in America actually online and she was a healer. I didn't even know what healing was at this point. This was back in 2011. And um, she was called the Love Guru. She actually is um, still doing that work as well. And um, I found her online and she happened, I emailed her and she happened to be, um, I was just felt I needed to contact her because she specialised in, in um, helping people attract love in a more spiritual way. So I emailed her and um, she happened to be in London for two weeks so she was in London when I emailed her so it's very serendipitous <laughs> so just considering she lived in Florida you know and um so I had my first session with her in a pub in Blackfriars near where I worked and then and I just knew I needed to this work was right for me even though I didn't even understand the concept of healing or anything because that hadn't been my world at all and through doing I in, embarked on like a three-month program with her um it's like, it's like spiritual counseling and healing and what happened, it wasn't like a man 
suddenly appeared at the end of the program like a genie out, out of a bottle it wasn't that at all but what happened was that I found my I sort of found my own gifts I realized I'd had lots of gifts since a child like clairvoyance hair cognizance all that sort of thing and I started to be able to feel energies I would have answers to questions just playing my head I'm like it was like a big movie screen inside my head so it was really it was like an accelerated spiritual development program which I didn't really know I was going on essentially mm. but then that so then after that I then um found all my different courses and did all of my studying and then I've been putting my own programs together for quite a while now so um so it's been a journey step by step intuitive journey really yeah I love hearing about people's stories when they come from that place of okay this thing happened to me this is a situation I wasn't in my life and this is what grew out of it and now I'm helping other women you know I really really like hearing those kinds of stories yeah no it's lovely isn't it because I think with this sort of work it isn't something you can pinpoint as a young person anyway what you're gonna you know it isn't something you can actually conceptualize and it is through your life experiences and from my own soul plan, I can actually see all these elements as well, which is interesting that I can actually see how everything's developed and where it's headed as well. So, but yeah, no, I find it quite incredible. And the more I talk to people about their journeys, it's usually not anything they consciously are aware of. You know, it's different, a series of different events, the universe putting these events in place for us. Yeah, yeah. Hayley, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me. Oh, you're very welcome. It's been a pleasure to chat to you. And I really um, love the work you're doing and the fact you've been really courageous to put this event on. So, oh, thank, you. thank you. 